I love Good Times uh, because of Esther Roll. I love the way that she grounded that character and didn't make her a stereotype. And I thought, well, if she can do that, I could possibly one day, hopefully, <laughs> do that. The first role that I ever uh, did as an actor was uh, in high school, in 12th grade. I decided to do a, nope, it was junior high, ninth grade, ninth grade. Uh, and I think it was a Chekhov play, The Good Doctor. Chekhov, I'm not saying it was good Chekhov. <laughs> Uh, it was perhaps, uh, you could check off the check off. My very first role uh, for television or film was in a movie called A Time to Kill by uh, Joel Schumacher. It was funny, I've always, I've worked behind the scenes as an actor, uh, or worked behind the scenes in, in casting, and all of the directors that we worked with would, would always ask me to audition for something because I was so animated. Um, but I never really wanted to because I wasn't trained. And Joel Schumacher, by chance, was the first director who never asked me to audition. So of course I had to ask him. I wanted to be a woman who started the riot. And he said, your face is too sweet. We have to have you audition for the nurse. And he basically paved my road in Hollywood. I played a nurse so many times. Thank you, Joel. The help came about because I was, uh, my best friend um, is Tate Taylor, the writer-director who, and his childhood best friend, uh, Catherine Stockett wrote the book. And because of my relationship with Tate, I was able to meet Catherine as she was drafting the, the, um, the, the outline for the book. Abilene, the character that Viola Davis plays, uh, is uh, loosely based on the woman who raised Catherine. And she didn't really have a voice or a type for many, and she met me one day. And it was a very fortuitous day now, but it was uh, a horrible day because it was 115 degrees. We were in uh, New Orleans, and I hate to be hot. And so, of course, I was grumpy, and we were doing a walking tour of New Orleans. And she decided that, you know, many needed to be short and fat <laughs> and always full of attitude. And, and so that's basically how many was born. I do not know how to cook or bake or anything in a kitchen other than get a plate from the cabinet <laughs> and stick something in the microwave. You don't want me in, in a kitchen, really. You, you uh, would not want to hire me to cook anything, you know, n nothing. We shot in a town uh, called uh, Greenwood, Mississippi. And Greenwood has a very uh, checkered past from the civil rights era. Uh, they're making strides to change their mentality, but of course, you know, like in any city, some of those mindsets still exist. Um, it was very interesting uh, to, to be there portraying that time period, even though we weren't in that time period. Uh, we all were emotionally it was not difficult for me to put on a maid's outfit because even though they're based, uh, the characters are, are fictional characters, they represent scores of real people. Mm -hmm. And I'm putting on a maid costume, mm -hmm. not a maid uniform. Actually, I saw it as a badge of honor because it was a way to uh, say thank you to the women who paved the way for me.